Come on. It got stuck. That was supposed to be a big show, but I, I blew it. This project goes way back. We started planning this two years ago with uh, Pablo Films and Red Bull Finland, and uh, now we're finally here. It was just like a rough idea that we wanted to do something at a snow castle. And then we found this place, which seemed all perfect. They had some like cool igloos and like really nice ice sculptures. So um, it was a lot of planning for sure. And then of course we wanted to use as many obstacles that were already placed here, you know, so they looked super nice. So we wanted to like recycle stuff that they had already and then try to figure out like unique and creative ways to use them as well. And there were a few things that they just built for us for the request that we had it was like the rainbow rail and then also the uh, the big down rail. Those were the two main obstacles that we need to be, have built, you know, because I feel like those were the also the main obstacles that looked the gnarliest. So it's not just going to be like mini shred stuff inside or outside, you know, so we want to like a couple like hero shots as well. So that's my biggest concern on this spot is like for being able to do the backflip, you need to have some sort of speed. And then this doorway is pretty tight. So I think for this test try, I'm going to wear a helmet just in case, because I don't want to hit my head on the wall. This is bulletproof. Everything we wanted to do inside is always really tough, because the, the space is really limited, and, and everything is angled always a little bit weird. So you can't have like direct speed anywhere. You know, so, it was, so in the end, when we came here, it's like, OK, so this is an open space. We can do a trick here, but we need a better in-run. So one, once we come here, after the season is done and the, the castle is actually closed, so we can destroy the whole thing, the whole place. So we wanted to like tear down walls and like let's let's make an in run from here. You know, let's just take this wall down so we can actually get a nice path. Yeah. So Rainbow Rail was the first spot. I actually came here. I think it was three or four days before the shoot, you know, just to talk to these guys and just see like how high the rainbow rail has to be. So it's going to be good for me to hit, but also it's going to look nice on the video, you know? So it was sort of a relief to get that out of the way, you know? So you kind of like take away the pressure, you know? So, okay, we got this shit done, you know? This was like one of the main shots we needed. And so that was like the perfect way to get the ball rolling. You want to hear a fun fact? I just heard yesterday that this whole rainbow weights around 24,000 kilos. So I hope it's not gonna just fall over on this shoot. 24,000 kilos. That's like double the weight of, of mine, my, my body weight. It's 12,000 kilos. So twice that much, crazy. The very first trip when I came here, I was talking to the, the actual builder of the castle. And I told him about my ideas of like sliding picnic tables and doing this and doing that. And he's like, I just want to tell you that the ice is really soft, so you can't slide ice with sharp edges. I was like, I definitely believed him, you know, but also I had friends that told me that it's possible, you know. So I'm like, okay, I'll just bring two boards. I had a board with no edges and that I had a board with edges. And then we started off with the rainbow. I, I, I hit it like nose press. Of course, like there's no chance of catching edge, you know, if it goes straight nose press. We kept on going, went to the picnic tables, and then I was doing back tails and front tails. And then we end up going to this dice spot. It's like the second to last spot of the whole shoot. And it's supposed to be like an, a super fun session and pretty easy. It's in a, in a sunny, sunny spot. It was nice spring vibes. And uh, that didn't feel nice. I feel like even we had everything like really figured out and we had like a really good and solid plan about everything, how everything's gonna work out, which spots we're gonna hit, and you know, there's still always things that you can't really control. Like for example, on the first day, the winch broke down. And then one of the days when we're hitting the step up, the, it was like so freaking windy that it made it almost like impossible for, for me to hit it. And then I actually ended up hitting it, but then falling off the roof. Whoa. Thank God it actually snowed yesterday for like 20 centimeters, but I think that saved me. Rock and roll. Yesterday was a disaster at this spot, but it's a new day, now we're back. Let's try to get it. Whoa. 
Yesterday was a battle. Today was really <laughs> good. I'm stoked we hit this again. I really like this shot. All in all, that day was just like really long and full of struggle. But we got the shots that we needed that day, and, and I think that the shots came out as, as good as we wanted them to look like, you know? So no hard feelings for that day, but if I could live that day again, I would probably do some things a little bit differently. The stress is relieving a little bit. I was a little bit stressed about this spot because like, it's supposed to be plus nine degrees today. And as soon as the, the sun hits the rail, it starts melting and then you can't hit it anymore. So we woke up, or I woke up at six o'clock this morning and at 6.30 we were here shoveling. I don't think I've ever been hitting anything this early in the morning. It's worth it. Yeah, I think all in all, this was by far the biggest project, like work-wise and uh, planning-wise, that I've ever done with Red Bull, but also the most interesting one. And uh, today, I got to try a chainsaw for the first time, but it's, I would way rather hit stuff like this than use a chainsaw and, and saw ice, you know? But for me, it was just always, it was really cool to see when someone's like that committed to something, you know, like everything they did, they wanted to make 100%, you know, like everything they built was built exactly the way I wanted, you know, so when I hit stuff, I have to be able to like stand behind it 100% that I feel comfortable doing it, you know, so I don't know, it was just so cool to see that everything always worked out 100%. I think this is one of the places that I'm definitely going to visit from every year from now on. It's like, I think it's just really cool and it's uh, cool to see what they're gonna do here next year and, and maybe I'm gonna be able to snowboard here once, once again, that would be nice.